Now you have been as a singer to Eurovision as well in 92? Yes. Uh, what is your experience from there? Um, well, of course it's a, it's a huge memory for me and it was fantastic. But more interesting for me these days is that I actually competed three times in Sweden. I won once, I was last once, and in the middle the third time. So I've actually experienced, you know, the extreme happiness, the the the, the tears, yeah. and also the nothing. You know, that sort of okay. That was that. And I can actually sympathize with, with any feeling that these artists have. So I'm I, I think I'm well prepared to, to actually both support them if it goes wrong and to, to help them through the period of excitement mm -hmm. because the, if, you, if you come from nowhere and win this competition your entire life changes yeah. overnight <laughs> and that's, uh, you have to be prepared for that too so I, 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 I like that I've had both or all these three experiences mm -hmm. actually as an artist Can I ask you what is your favorite Eurovision song ever? Wow! Non-Swedish if possible and then the Swedish one afterwards yeah. Um, well, I, I have I have a, a favorite from when I grew up, which was Marie Miriam, L'Oiseau et l'Enfant, from '77. But I have to say that the last the last five years have been amazing in the Eurovision. Uh, it has changed so much, and the music is so good. So I could actually pick, you know, like three, four, five songs a year. <laughs> For me. In, in the last couple of years. I love Elena Paparizo, my number one. Um, I love Rybak, uh, Iceland. Uh, I, last year was fantastic. I, I mean, so many good songs. Uh, I just, I think the event is, is growing and getting really, really better. It's, it's um, you know, back then it was like one song a year. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, that you liked. But uh, now it's good. It's good. So, Apart from the la that old one, I, I can't really pick one. And for uh, in Sweden, for instance, what is your favorite Swedish melody festival and entry? Again, I have to go way back. Uh, it has to be ABBA and Waterloo. Um, that was the first time we proved that this little blueberry country up north <laughs> could actually do something of, of international standard. And the joy that evening when, when that happened, I, I can still remember that feeling. I was, I was so, we were on the top of the world as a country for the first time ever. Um, again, the, the last seven, eight years, I think we have so many good songs every year. And I can't really evaluate them till after I've quit this job. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, maybe I will do a, a greatest, uh, greatest hits of the, my years so to speak, when I can actually see which ones I like. And or you write a book about <laughs> everything you I, have experienced. I, I might write a book, I might do that. <laughs> okay, we will buy it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Korea after, after the Eurovision, after you finished Melody Festival. And, but, uh, you Kusta, want to know all the scandals. Of course, <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> Kusta Bjergman, thank you very, very much for the fantastic interview and uh, it's been a big pleasure to be able to speak to you. Thank mm. you so much. And good thank luck you. for the Melody Festival and that you do it for a long, long time, this way, how it's going now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.